Yo, hey guys, welcome to the best game on the PS1, the GOAT, the, the game everybody talks about, like, uh, you know, ask anyone and they'll say, what, what's the best game on the PS1? It's Casper, yo! I've been talking about this game for like, I don't know, a decade and a half and how much I love this stupid game but we're finally gonna see it tonight it was a donation goal earlier in the year and it is pretty much a direct okay Jilly's going crazy off to the side it's pretty much a direct um, link to the movie Casper from like 1995 oh hi Jilly um, so if you love the movie like I do and I have a fun story with the movie I'll share, but if you love the movie, you're gonna love the game. Just saying. Uh, so anyway, yo, 1995? Uh, <laughs> Plot twist though, the game is from 1996. On the PS1, I think it was also on Super Nintendo. I first played it when I was like a senior in high school though, it's so good. Yo, Dory guy! Thanks for the resub. How have you been, honeybee? Oh my gosh, how have I been? So sick. I'm still sick. You probably can hear it, slash see it. I looked so good last week. I was sun kissed. I was at the beach. I was like, representing my best life. And I come home, and just have been incredibly sick since getting home. I think we all got the flu. Like, I'm pretty sure that's probably what it was. The flu in, like, cold form. Luckily, because I'd rather that than the other type of flu. Um, but, yeah, it has knocked me out. I have been so sick, and it's like, I've, I'll, I'll, I've started to get better and then taken another step back. I was like, wow, none of it's in my nose. Now it's all in my nose. So I'll probably be blowing my nose a lot have a little bit of a cough. Um, I'll try to mute my mic when I can. Uh, yeah, I was really worried I was gonna lose my voice, but it kind of reversed and was like, nope, you get to keep your voice, but you get to lose your nose. So, yeah. Anyway, so I am sick, so I apologize for my roadiness. Yo, Narusonic, thank you for the resub as well. 28 months. Thank you so much for 28 months of subs. I'm gonna say hi to everybody who's here. We have Start of 94, Turn of the Drew, giving it a ba. Kirby Kart 641, Phoenix Warriors, Tim Lauren, Bree Hawk with the ghost in the house. Malcolm Kostinko. Uh and I'm still scrolling. Hold on. Aaron Triple Zero. Dory Guy64. Snack go! Snack attack! You're gonna love this game, Snack. You're gonna make fun of me now, and then you're gonna be like, wait, this game is based. Uh, Rainbow Road, 1996. Pixel! Pixel Plume! Yo! Um... <laughs> you just gave up the ghost. I literally remember where I was when I found out that this was your favorite PS1 game. It's so... Good. I have like a 12, 15 page printout from when I was like 17 uh, or 18. I don't know. I was a senior in high school when I played this game and like got totally obsessed with it to the point where my mom is like, what is wrong with you? Why are you playing this game so much? Um, so I was a late bloomer with Casper because I didn't have a PS1 until like late high school. But... Um, I have the printout from like IGN or something, one of the like detailed walkthroughs and it has all of the cheat codes. You can cheat at the very beginning of this and beat the game in like five minutes, probably less than that, um, which I would like to show off at the end of this playthrough. I have not played this game since I graduated high school though, let it be known, so it's been like 15 years 15 years plus I don't know it's been a long time um, so we're gonna see how it goes but this had I quote this game all the time and nobody ever knows what I'm talking about 
Uh, it was Sizz's stream, I think Psychonauts. That sounds right. That, cause it it seems like you know it was something I was just like, yeah, Casper is my favorite PS One game, and everybody's like, what? Wait a second, what? <laughs> Pretty sure like 99% of my messages are all going to be Lonely Island references because I just binged the first 11 or so eps in the last few days. Oh my god, it's so good, the the podcast. I'm so glad you're listening to it now. I haven't listened to any episodes since I got back from vacation, but uh, I'm, I'm just at a... I think I just finished the Roy's rule, Roy Rules episode. Um... Or was it the episode after that? I don't know. It was like right around Dear Sister and those skits. So that's where I am. Uh, anyway, I was a late bloomer with Castro because I didn't have a PS1 until high school. The sense, sense has never been said before. <laughs> okay, I'm just saying. I would have loved this game as a kid, but I didn't have the opportunity. So um, I have a really... It's kind of a funny story. When I was young, still, okay, this is a bad start to this because I said when I was young, still, um, I'm still young, forever young, I guess. Uh, when I was very small, um, I quickly developed a love for spooky things. Spooky things that most children were afraid of, I adored. That was just kind of my thing. When I was three years old, I begged and begged and begged my mom to get me the movie with the skeleton for my birthday. That movie being The Nightmare Before Christmas. It's still my favorite movie of all time. Other children were afraid, okay? I was not. I was mesmerized. I loved it. I loved anything spooky. I loved all that stuff from an early age. Um, you know, pretty young. I was, like, very interested in, like, ghosts and, um spooky I don't know just like the Halloween culture was very much up my alley um so I got Nightmare Before Christmas for my fourth birthday fast forward a year later and I was like I was about to turn five and I this movie had come out on video okay uh Casper and I begged and begged and begged my mom every time we went to the store to buy me this VHS and she said no every single time. So I threw the most gigantic tantrum I can remember. Like, you know when you, you know, like kids throw fits, sure. But like, I remembered this fit. Um, and it was like a week before my birthday and my mom was like, you know what? It's not worth the, the tears and the drama. Here's an early, this is your early birthday gift. She had gotten it for me for my birthday and I was so excited about this freaking movie that I could not wait. And I literally threw a fit until she gave in and was like, just take it, watch it. I watched it every single day leading up to Halloween. I was obsessed with it. I loved it. So anyway, yeah, big fit, oops. My mom was over it, but. You know, that that's the tea. Also, big sis, yo, sis sixteen, the homie. Are these these emotes are killing me? <laughs> yo, Scott man, thank you for the resub for seventy six months. I just got home an hour ago from a vacation in Australia. Wow, that's not what I expected you to say at all. Dang, welcome home from Australia. That is like all the way on the other side of the globe dang welcome back thanks for stopping into the stream i hope you had a good trip um yeah so anyway i've i have a lot of love for casper is what i'm trying to say <laughs> yummy luigi welcome to the stream wait why why did you say don don da don Snack, I don't understand. Well, what the heck is this? Yo, Pixie, it's you subbing. Thanks for the 62 months sub. We're gonna get into this in just a second, I promise. Because I've talked about, I've hyped it up enough. Everybody's gonna be like, what in the world? Um, these emotes of K-Mans, though, are like insane. <laughs> They're so good. 
<coughs> Excuse me. Sorry for coughing. Uh, thank you so much, Pixie, for the resub. I'm going to switch to this screen here. Oh my god, I haven't played this in forever. Also, Yugi is keeping me company. Comforting me. Actually, I might use him as... I might sit against him, because that's probably going to be better. New game, new game, new game, new game! Okay. What is this, like, clunk sound effect? Please wait. Uh, let me know if the music needs to be turned up. This game's pretty quiet. Hang on! Oh my god, this song. Uh, fun fact, the set for the living room in the movie also served as the set for the Backstreet Boys Everybody music video. There is a girl in my house! I wonder if she will be my friend! May- Oh, is she- is he actually reading this out loud? Shoot. <laughs> yeah, Yuki is the embodiment of the beach. Hang on! Wait, why is there broccoli on the floor? I don't remember broccoli being a thing. Oh, shucks. Oh my god, I remember the stupid music. I, I was sick with, like, um... The stomach flu, I think, when I played Casper the first time, and I would literally stay up all night. I would, like, rotate between playing this game and then watching The Office. And I feel like I wasn't sleeping because I was nuts, and... That was the last time I played this. How do I do this? Shoot! No! Ah! Okay, hold on. It's a picture picture frame with the legend Babe Bats Ba His first name is not Babe. Babe Batso, 1929. Okay, I have to get the key. It's a locked chest. I need it. I just found a key! Open it! Oh, you piece of crap. Okay, a lot of these things are traps. Scary looking suit of armor covered with cobwebs. How do, don't I like, jump into these pictures or something? It's a painting of my three uncles before they turn into ghosts. Okay. There's no keyhole or handle. Okay, I think I have to... How do I become invisible again? I don't remember how to do anything in this game. We're gonna be learning. Um... It's okay, Yugi doesn't mind being squished. He's just spooning me right now. We're used to it. Um... It says Babe Batso right there! So what do we think makes this, for instance, the best game on one of the most beloved and revered consoles of all time? Listen, we'll get into it, I promise! I just have to- I'm a little rusty box filled with firewood. This is like the tutorial. Okay, I got the key. I think this guy hurts me. Uh, okay, yeah. Right now I just gotta collect all the things. Dang it. I... to become a ball to get through this stuff? Why is some of this stuff glittery? Ah! Okay, I can't. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh my god. Um. Why is he- Because I keep clicking on stuff and he doesn't know what to think about it. So all I can do is go, hmm, 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 hmm. Um. I want to start reminiscing over old family photos like that. Wow, look at them before they turn into ghosts. That's so bad. No. Oh my god, I'm so sorry, guys. This cold is kicking my butt. So hard. Okay, I'm just gonna follow what it says to do at the moment. Hang on! <laughs> Wait, 
I, I'm not ready for this. I don't... <laughs> That's so... Oh, he's coming for me. Crap, I need broccoli. How do I get the broccoli out? This piece doesn't... What? Okay, I gotta go. I need to figure out how to, um, drop stuff. Wait, he has all this food in here and he's after me? Found a wooden bucket. What do I do with all this stuff? Okay, it's a kitchen table. Get the, f get the food off of it. Oh, wait, this puzzle piece needs to go in a... Frame, I think. Oh, Jilly, did you get tired, little girl? Jilly's staring at me over to the side. Bobo, I don't know much about Casper. Perhaps you can answer a question or two for me. One, does Casper have any cool powers outside of standing standard going through walls? And two, does Casper ever get a hot ghost girlfriend? So <laughs> Jilly, I'm sorry, I'm in the middle of playing Casper, okay? Um, one. Does he have any cool powers? Other than going through walls and stuff? Uh... uh <laughs> Jilly! <laughs> he has some, like... I don't know that he has powers. He has some tricks he can pull off. He does become human for a night. Um, and get a hot girlfriend that is Christina Ricci for, like, 20 minutes, but then that ends, so, you know. <laughs> ah! I don't know how to drop my broccoli. God, I don't know. Fatso, get away from me! He just smacks me on the butt. God, I hate how much my nose is running. I'm really sorry, guys. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, can I go into the fireplace? No, I can't. I really thought I could. I gotta remember where to put stuff. Aha! Okay. If I put the... <laughs> That's th this is it. This is the quote. I say this all the time from this game. I literally will go around and be like I can't do that. I I I I I can't do that. And I will say this to my sister Toach all the time, and we will say it to each other, and no one ever gets the reference. <laughs> Pick up the freaking buck, or not the bucket? How do I? Okay, I gotta remember where to put these things. This is why she loves it. We haven't explored the full house yet. Uh, wait, I found a tuna sandwich. Yo, DJ Brokey, thank you so much for the resub. Um, it's a picture of a barn. All the boss to you, Malcolm Costinko. Welcome. I can't do that. I I I I I can't do that. Okay, I think the sandwich is for Fatso downstairs. The purple door. Oh, I need a purple key. I need to. I know there's a way to like vaporize, but I have to. Figure out. Oh. That's my room, but Cat and her father are in there. I need to find them both a present first, or else I'll scare them away. Wait, what? We have to find them a present? Okay, so I have to go find them a present at the moment. <laughs> um. Yeah. So now you guys know where I can't do that. I I can't do that. Comes from. Carrots. Do I just have to put these near Fatso? It's a grungy looking sofa with a big rip in it. 
So dusty old grandfather clock. The glass is broken, but it's still ticking. Okay. I can't remember where this weight goes. Can I go outside yet? No, it's the front door. It's locked and bolted. No sense in going outside now anyway. Did I go up this other staircase? Did this lead to the same place? I don't think it does. Auto wrap needs to come back. It does. Yeah, we still have to learn this. And I don't remember how we do that. What? So many sandwiches! Um... Yeah, what? Okay. Um... Wow. Um, and I can't do that auto wrap sounds pretty good to me. I mean, it would be. <sighs> Stupid don't eat the fruit bit. Hey, I finally learned what it was from, though. Pixie's been obsessed with this music that I haven't been able to figure out, and I blamed K-Man for it. Um, and then I tried to blame myself for it because that's just the way bits are done. Anyway, nobody here is, probably even knows what I'm talking about, so... <laughs> um... Okay, how do I get up here? Well, can you maybe do that? So I can, like, live my life? There's a reason I have this stuff. I just gotta find the right place to go. There's a- Oh yeah! There is a movie where he befriends Wendy Witch. I don't remember what I need for Fatso. This is why I need the guide. Yeah, he's too friendly to do someone in. That's the whole idea! He's like a sweetie. Wait, it's a picture- isn't that Casper's picture? It's a picture of a little boy. He looks really familiar. Maybe because it's you, dude. Oh, I have to put the weight here, I think. No. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, I have to complete this frame. Before I can move on. Cool. What do I need this bucket for? No use for a bucket here. Shoot. Um. Didn't I hit this already? I can't remember how to vaporize. I need a gift? Okay. Fish sandwich key. I have one gold key, one silver key. One of these goes in here. Oh, you piece of crap. No, grab the- grab it! Oh my god. How do I get this? Put this stupid bucket away. I don't know how to get this. Um, no! Go! Okay. Um, that's a good question. Why are there so many keys behind locked doors? I really don't know. Why can't I get this... 
Are you kidding me right now? Guys, I'm so stupid. I had the ability to float up, but I wasn't hitting the right button on the controller. Ah, oh, okay. Um. What? Oh no, that is true. Sack. Uh, Bobo wrote a lot of tall orders at House God. She agreed to play Persona 5. I did. I did agree to this. Although, I agreed to it with conditions of that I only play the story part, and I think Odie's gonna play the RPG part. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm so dumb. So dumb! Okay. Now we can bulk eat the fruit. And a sandwich. What else can I do that I was unaware of? Okay, if I can go up... I need to find a use for this bucket. Can I float up and over the wall? I still just have this stupid bucket! I don't know what to do with this! That story's gonna get skipped? What? Uh, remind me, what game did you agree to play if K-Man plays Kingdom Hearts 1? I said I would play DK64. I was like, that that will be our, um, our trade-off. He'll play Kingdom Hearts 1 while I play DK64. Although, I will say he is arguably far more of an expert at DK64 than I am at Kingdom Hearts 1. I am a master of Destiny Island, though. Um, I want to do a game pact. It's fun to make game pacts with people. That is such a good pact. I couldn't believe he'd never played it. That's why I was like, what? Can I, like, get this wood? Is there water somewhere? Have I, is there somewhere I have not gone that I just think I've gone? Like, over here? That's a wall. How do I vaporize? I don't know. No! There's no- I don't- there are no gifts! I cannot find a gift for Kat and her freaking dad! I've ate like 14 sandwiches! Oh wait, 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 wasn't there something down there? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Go! Oh, Casper! Um... What about this? No, don't give me the bucket. No, not the chair, you idiot. Go to the freaking frame. You're a dusty chair. Piece of garbage. Open the door. Open it. There's a silver key. Thank you. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay. Wait, what did that do? What? Oh my- If you do not put this bucket down, I will- Oh, I need a green key. Wait, why did I push all these- what? I don't know what these buttons did. Um, am I feeling any better since last stream? Bowie, I- Yes and no, like I- my voice feels better. Like, I feel like I can speak again, but I am just so s snotty. Like, ugh. Freaking fatso I gotta avoid again. Um. <laughs> I can see why I needed a print on how to play this game. It's really not that bad right now. It's just I'm, I'm remembering from like 15 years ago. You sound back to normal. I think I sound back to normal for the most part, except for my nose being stuffed, but... Freaking annoying. Okay, no. Uh, Tom898, yo! Aw, oh, thank you so much for the kind words. Uh, I already went this way. What door did I open, you guys? I have no idea what door I opened. It, maybe it was over here. 
Oh my god, Bobo! Look out! It's a g g ghost What up, Slimbo? <laughs> yeah, flu season is upon us. I I'm convinced we all got the flu, because I had the flu after SGM a couple years ago and it felt pretty much the same. I'm so sorry, guys. We're having to blow my nose on stream so much. <laughs> oh my god, Slim. That really does need to be our hashtag. Hang on! I want to try and raid um, K-Man if he's still streaming later. Because he is doing a tournament. But yeah, I made a, a pact with my... my friend came in to oh, is it that Casper's room? Crap. To play DK64 if he plays Kingdom Hearts 1. I'm supposed to play Persona 5 now with Odie. Do like game and crochet. I cannot find the store to save my life. Um, where is the door? Oh, wait. Oh! You piece of garbage. I have so many... Okay. I found a lot of tuna. Uh, yo, Zabrag! Yo! Guys, I love, um, Zabrag. <laughs> I mean, I love all of you, but, I don't know. I just felt like... <sighs> put... Put this dang piece of crap... Okay, smoke morph. How do I do this? I just felt like telling you guys how cool Zabrag is. Okay, so I can smoke into vents. Oh! Yes, ladies! Okay, now. No, I don't know where I'm gonna- what this is gonna do. Um... <laughs> Wait, jigsaw piece? Yeah, there are puzzles in this game, Slim. I don't remember if all the treasure chests do that to you or not. Oh, also, Sizz had to leave. He's probably gone by now, but love you, Sizz. Bye. Um, I should have learned by now not to stand right in front of the treasure chest after I open it, but I have yet to learn this. There's so much tuna just laying about. Now, what did you say, Pixie? Just throw the bucket in the fire. I bet that's the answer. Maybe I should try it. Didn't I try that though? I mean, loving Zabrag is pretty easy. Yeah, it is. It's true. You wouldn't hit a kid with glasses, would ya? <laughs> okay. How did I do this? Okay, I smoked there. I gotta go smoke. But I don't smoke, kids. But like... You can smoke into vents if you're a ghost. Wait, can I smoke into the fire? Shh. No, I can't. Um. Oh, okay, I got the broccoli and the key. I need you to... There's a vent. Wait, that's the vent I just smoked into. Wait, what? There are like a bunch of vents in here I can smoke... into. Oh no. One of these has to go somewhere. Ah! Okay, hold on. Is this the one? I already did this one. Where's this one? What? What is the point of this? I'm trying to smoke into all the vents. Yeah, I think this doesn't do anything other than runs away. Um, is there a vent in here? No. Oh, but there's like a whole room of food over there! What do I have? Green key? There is a green 
door somewhere. <laughs> Completing tasks, Vance is game looking kinda sus. Yo, Wolf, how's it going, Wolf? Uh, this game seems so good. Listen, we're getting into it, I promise. This game is just my vibe. Where's the green door? Is there a green door up here? I smoked into that vent, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Okay, that's how- that- that's how I got the green. <sighs> Going alright, pretty much good aside from pesky cough. I'm- I mean, knock on- is there any wood in here? There's particle board. Okay, well knock on wood that I do not develop a- an insane cough, cause that's like the one- Oh no! Oh wait. Oh, what? That's like the one thing I have not had to deal with. Did I smoke into this vent yet? No. Okay. Found a brass key, found an iron key. I'm not gonna know what that did. Oh! Okay. Wait, where did it- Where was the green door? Is Casper bulk eating the food because he thinks it will make him human again? Because it doesn't work like that. Synagram. Synagram. Oh no, I'm not ready for this. Hold on, I can't deal with Stinky right now. I. Uh oh, Stinky! Yes, X! That's what I pressed. I'm sorry, kid. I'm running for. Ah! He's a big stink. Wait, what do I do with this? Can I use my bucket here? I don't know. No! Go to the freaking bucket, you idiot! I don't think I have what I need for this yet. Okay, I gotta leave. <laughs> Go into the- No! Go- Okay. I think it was just supposed to be his stink breath. Stinky ever lob goo at pe- No, but he did use the stink. Wait, can you almost gaslit you into buying a pack of cigarettes at HouseCon because of Krillin from Dragon Ball Z- What? But why? <laughs> Sonic Knuckles, welcome to the stream. Oh no. Oh, here we go. The game's telling me where to go. Yeah, there's a way to get these guys. I just don't know it yet. No. Press X to continue. Okay, so cross right, left, right, right. Okay. Right, left, right, right. And that opens that door. I'm pretty sure I get another power up here. Stop hitting the wrong button! Some of these are like... Uh... Wait, 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 wait. I don't want to go down there. Yo, a sandwich hype! Oh, this is a whole new area! Oh, I remember this! Why do these pillows look weirdly like pancake boobs? Why are there keys inside chess? Still not sure what to do with this bucket, either. Excuse me. Okay. I'm serious. Those pillows just look like... Weird. Okay. Um, thank you for the bless. I appreciate it. Also, yo, yo, Yoshi! I've been trying for 20 minutes to ask how everyone's doing. Well, I am trying to find a gift for... Uh, uh, Big book on the mind. 
Barbie would like to read this. Oh, this is my present. A b the mind. <laughs> I want a book that's just the mind. That's a book I want to read too. Uh, by the way, I think I mentioned this at my last stream, um, that my friends and I did a manga exchange at our vacation, during our vacation. And on my way home, I spilled my drink on the plane and therefore spilled it, spilled juice, I had cranberry juice, all over the floor and the bottom of my carry-on bag, which my mangas were in, and got them all wet and nasty and had to spend like three or four days like drying them out oh this is the oh I know what this is okay um but I saved them I dried them out I blow dried them I ironed them it was a whole thing I never did find that green door did I okay I know there's a a ball power up what? Okay. Um. Are they still new? They are, honestly. I think that, like, um, the books I ended up- the mangas I ended up with were We Never Learn, which my friend Sis brought, and then Pixie brought, um, Akane Banashi. I haven't read either one of these yet because I have been repairing the damage. Akane Banashi got it worse than We Never Learned. We Never Learned you probably wouldn't even know anything happened to. Thankfully. Um, but yeah. Now I would say if any- the spine is a little, like, not flat anymore. Uh, I mean, it, it, it's like at an angle a little bit on Akane Banashi, but they really look good. They, like, they flip again. It's not too bad at all, so I was very proud of myself. This was a lot of effort, but it was worth it because it was sentimental. Um, it would be my book of the year. What? The Mind? You know it. Um, okay, is there anywhere else I can go in here? I don't think so. I think I need another power-up before I can come back here. Shoot. Ow say my week has been rough. Helene hit my area sort of hard and it's been recovery mode for the city. It wasn't the worst compared to other cities. Ooh, I'm so sorry to hear that, yo-yo. Um, we were in Myrtle Beach when the hurricane hit. Hurricane hit. It was more of a tropical storm there than anything. Um, it was a little wild on the Friday, but I was usually I drive to Myrtle Beach. I didn't this time I flew and thank God because the entire route that I take basically in North Carolina was completely destroyed that I have taken for my entire life with my family so that's insane to me um, and tragic so um, like no go okay I slept through like all of the Friday storm. You were up for part of it. You, we were just in your bed. <laughs> uh, I also fell asleep in your, your bed after that. It was just so cozy. I was already in here. Why am I here? How many keys do I have? One key? I just have the green key. Yeah, I can't believe that the hurricane hit so far in. Like, I know that, like, Probably just a lot of those places wouldn't ever expect that and weren't equipped for it because being so far in. I think even like the weather in the Midwest was like so bad on coming home. It was like the most depressing because it was so gloomy. Like it was rainy, dark, gross nastiness. So like coming off a of vacation, what was the point of this? It's a picture frame with the legend Babe Fatso. He was a baseball player, apparently. Oh, here's the green door. Go, go. Yeah, okay. Uh, 
Um, okay. Anyway, sorry. Just didn't help that in West North Carolina they were also getting hit with a bunch of rain. Yeah. That definitely made things way worse. Um, oh my god, why don't I ever learn? Kind of like the... The, um... What? Okay. Kind of like the... Oh, go... Manga I just got. What is this? A fool's gold coin? Got some bananas. Switch. Okay. I have yet to find a gift for Cat. This game becomes a maze, by the way. Um, if you can't tell already, based on the fact that I am in a brand new area and we're gonna have to do all this crap here and I'm not gonna remember where I'm going. <laughs> yeah, she never learn! I know. So fitting. I think I get the ball power up in here, maybe? Um. I'm personally fine and I'm blessed that I wasn't impacted more, but yeah, my heart goes out to West North Carolina because it was devastating. Oh, I know, it's awful. My heart goes out to all those affected too, because man, that just really is awful. Um, the hurricane was supposed to go west, so it's swerving, or was supposed to go east, you mean? And then it's swerving west? I don't know, it's just crazy. Do I have a key for this? I don't even have a key for this door. Time to reveal my butt. Yo! Hey, we're back to regular alerts, by the way. Psycho! Psycho Nacho Man, welcome to the stream. Thanks for the bits. Fell asleep in our bed and everyone left. I know. I did. It's just so darn cozy. One stat I saw is that it was effectively a 1 in 14,000 year event that is insane wow cat from animal crossing yo pixie gave me the hookup with all the animal crossing cards well maybe not all of them but a lot of them that i was missing um and so now i have more people that i can invite to live on my island How do I, what do i do in here uh where did this go? Up here. Okay, I definitely already hit that switch. I examine this. It's a picture of a white wolf. Wait, it's a wall heater good for... Wait, what? Okay. I gotta watch this movie now. It's what it makes me want to do. Where is the ball power up? It's a barrel. I don't know. Yeah, instead of my own bed across the hall. It was more fun to sleep in somebody else's bed. Um. <coughs> Woo! Excuse me. Sorry. That's gonna keep happening. <coughs> Excuse me. I hate being sick! Uh, does anybody see a use for a bucket? Can I go out here? How did I even get up here? It's an old painting of a man and a woman. They look really serious. Okay. Okay, this is the main floor again. We left that one on the board. Wait, fell asleep in our bed and didn't even get epically pranked. We left that one on the board. Wait, what? I don't know who leaves random barrels lying around. I'm gonna need to get more um, tissues here in a second. I know, someone should have pranked me. I'm surprised nobody did, considering you pranked me once before, earlier that week. 
That was so, so dumb, but so funny. I just knew it was you. Oh my god, where do I go? I'm so lost. I've already gotten lost, and we're like not even to the first. This is stinky, right? Ah! I'm hit! Okay, I gotta get out of the stink. I had a pl I I'm glad that the prank I had planned was pulled off. Wow, but I told everyone to prank you. Nobody did it for me. Sag. Yo, sorry, Slimbo. I mean, Snack did prank me at one point. <laughs> That's so true. Yeah, I woke up with a um, plastic grasshopper that was like this big, this far away from my face. I was taking a little power nap. I had no questions either. I woke up, I saw it, and I was like, what? Snack! I knew it was snack. I knew immediately. I was like, there's no way. Can I give this to Dr. Harvey? That's my room. But Cat and her father are in uh, the room. I need to find them both a present first, or else I'll scare them away. Fine! Uh, I won't! Did I go on this vent already? Oh! I did not go on this vent! Okay, good. I love finding new spots. That I have not yet been. Um... Um, spooky attic room, ooh. Um, wait, what? Is this really all I can do in here? I can't do anything else. Um, that is such a noise. Okay. I was allowed to stick Odin's hand in a bucket of water. My prank was too intense, oh no. I knew it was you. I could smell you getting off the elevator. Um. Pixie, what the heck? Alan, how's it going? Alan, I still haven't beaten the freaking final level of Rugrats because it was making me go out of my mind. So kudos to you for beating it because it's so annoying. It's so hard. Um. I probably would have. What? The whoopee cushion literally would have obliterated Zebra, but I blew it. I can't believe it didn't work. We had come up with this whoopee cushion prank like four days, four or five days before actually trying to make it happen, and of course, it didn't work. The whoopee cushion did not work when we needed it to. So Zebra was unprankable. That was like one of what, like three or four pranks? That didn't work. Okay, I have no idea where I'm going. Wait, no, 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 no. That. Okay, this vent goes. What? No! How did I get there? Do we know how I got there before? Oh my god, I have no idea. Um. <laughs> oh man. I wish the whoopee cu cushion had worked. That would have been so funny. So anyway, moral of the story, if you go on vacation with a big group of friends, uh, you inevitably are obligated to prank each other because it's hilarious and fun. And my one prank that I did, I was like last on the list of suspects, which was hilarious in itself. How do I get over there? Does anybody know where I'm going? No. How do I get this door open? <laughs> Your prank was my favorite! Yo! Little Foo! How's it going? Little Foo enjoyed my prank. Um, wait, I did two pranks? What was my other prank? 
Oh, yes. No, you're right. I did two pranks, okay? One was... <laughs> One was only a little bit more notable than the other. Um, yeah, so I had this idea to... To... I don't... I literally downloaded this song and put it on a playlist by itself so I wouldn't screw it up somehow or have, like, ads from a YouTube video or whatever on my iPod before the trip. I put on that song, What's Up? But, and I said, hey, yeah, yeah. I put... I was like, I gotta put this on a... a playlist. And my idea was to trap somebody, like, wait till somebody took a shower, plant... A speaker outside the bathroom and just blare that song at like full volume when they couldn't escape just I don't this was my bit I don't know this is just my prank that I thought was hilarious for whatever reason um, so I kept wait this was another like four days of waiting I was like who do I do this to so I told snack about it <laughs> and I was like who should I do this to? And we we kind of decided, like, okay, K-Man is the victim. Because why not? Because he kept... He just seemed like the, a good fit. And I was like, alright, well, you gotta let me know when he takes a shower. Well, finally, one... The day rolled around. This is, like, four days into the trip. And he's like, alright, I'm gonna go take a shower. And I was like, oh, this is the moment. This is the moment. So, um... Yeah, I had to run in into his room. <laughs> to deal with <laughs> snack had to go with me to make sure he wasn't like naked in his room beforehand which sis was in there so i was like okay sorry sis for being also part of this but you were in on it so it's fine and this song was so loud like it was louder than i thought it would even be and it was fantastic because of that but yeah he was stuck in the shower listening to that the entirety of that song blaring um yeah, day, day four of the trip, K-Man finally showers. Let it be known, K-Man did shower before that point in the trip. It's just it kept happening too early in the morning or too late at night for me to feasibly be able to blare music in the house. Um, and Sis was awake. He was still in bed, but he was awake, so he, w he was a real trooper through my blaring of music in his room. Um, while this was happening, but Yeah, I literally after that walked out of my room singing that song to him and he had no idea it was me and went on to explain how uh, Snack had pranked him <laughs> I was like, oh really? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it was very calculated. It was a fully calculated prank before the trip even happened, and I didn't even know who I was going to do that to. I just knew I was going to do that to somebody. Um, it wasn't a prank, but stumbling into you and Pixie setting up that mushroom heartless on Sizz's bed was pretty good. That was just a fun... I had made this uh, plushie for Sizz that he requested like four years ago. Um... And I wanted to surprise him, so I, yeah, Wolf walked in on me and Pixie climbing into Sid's bed, like, what are you guys doing? And it's like, I have to plant this plushie up here. Um, he was excited, though. I was in the room when he, when he found it, too, so that made it pretty fun. Everyone is so sneaky. Madam had the literal audacity. I did so <laughs> Uh, then he went, yeah, so K-Man went ultra sleuth mode trying to figure out who did it, and Bobo was not on the list of suspects. I wasn't. I was literally not on the list. He came up to me and explained the whole thing, and then he explained what he had found out from Snack and was like, I don't know who did it. He then tried to accuse himself of doing it, which I don't even know how he got there. <laughs> I know! I walked up to him singing that song and he still had no idea it was me. Uh, also, Rinslet, welcome to the stream! <laughs> oh my god, I know I don't have a present for them. I am, like, at a loss. I have no idea where I'm supposed to go to get these presents. Um, yeah, he literally thought of casting the blame on himself before he thought of 
I don't think he ever figured it out legitimately. Like, when we told him, he still, I think, was like, no. <laughs> he still didn't want to believe it. Um, it was just so insane. So yeah, my other prank, which was notably stupider and not... I stuck a rubber snake up my pants, as you do. Um, and I really wanted... I had... Who did I take this from? I stole this snake from somebody. Um, and I wanted... I had had a conversation with you in the car snack and you're like, Oh, I wanted to take the snake. Robert. I wanted to take Robert home. And I'm like, I think Beck had Robert. I think I stole it from her. Um, you were like, oh, I wanted to take Robert. And I'm like, yeah, Beck has it. But really, it was up my pants. But because I couldn't get Snack to notice my pants, I instead just panicked and grabbed his hand and was like, ooh. And <laughs> rubbed it against my pants so he noticed something was strange. It was super good, obviously. Um, but I did pull out that snake. I finally pulled it out of my pants in front of TSA at the airport, which was a fun thing that I had never done before. You know, the old snake in the pants trick. It's a classic. Oh, shoot. Can I- is there a vent in here? Or am I just supposed to, like, do something with this? I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this. <laughs> like, how would I have even been scared? What was the prank? I don't know! I just wanted you to be like, is there a snake in your pants? That was the whole prank. I already activated this switch. I'm so lost. This is why I needed a guide for this game. And I don't remember- I know the ball power-up is somewhere. Ma'am, we're gonna need to see the snake in your pants. <laughs> um, also, Icy Storm, I don't- I mean, I guess it could be like a childhood... ...horror movie, but I don't really think it's scary. It's more like cute. Okay, well, uh, what can you do with this gold? What is the point of this gold? I have 10 gold, and this isn't a gift. Fun fact, I told Snack about the snake in your pants, but he interrupted me before I said pants. There's a snake in my boot. <laughs> you told him about the snake in my pants, but he still didn't understand. Oh my God, insane. What do I use? How did I get to that one area? But I am a millennial. I didn't think it was- I was five when this movie came out and I loved it. Maybe I'm just so tough. Hold on. How- I can't remember where I'm going. I need to be like drawing a map of this game. Oh. Okay, if I'm over here, in this back room, I have... Oh, yeah, that's right. I gotta complete the puzzle. And I can't go through the store because I need a red key. Oh, red key. Yeah, and there, the, these windows... Hold on, where is it? Like, this window right here, there's a way to get through this. But I don't have the power up yet. I go through this vent? I think I already hit this. Yeah, it won't let me hit it. Shoot. Um... I wasn't willing to accept the reality where Bobo had the snake in her pants. It was just too much for you. I don't remember ever finding this movie scary either. It's way closer to a romantic. 
I know, I feel like this is where a lot of girls got their first, like, crush. Which I think I was still maybe a little bit too young for that at the time. But when Casper- I love all the memes around Casper becoming human and how it, like, affected girls and, like, preteen girls especially. <laughs> so funny. Um... I am not- here's the thing. I'm not a big horror movie person when it comes to, like, slasher, gross score. Like, that's just not me. Um, but I love spooky stuff. Like, if it's more in the spooky realm than, like, the horror realm, I can usually do it. Please tell me I already- did I hit this? What does this do, though? This has to do something. Okay. Isn't this Casper's picture? Uh, I'm so lost. I haven't seen the movie Chucky since I was like... God, I don't even know how old I was when I saw Chucky last. A lot younger. I think I was still, like, living in the house I grew up in, so... Bucket? Gold? Anything? Do I know what to do with these things? It's a picture of a middle-aged man. Rocking chair and it's rocking by itself. My uncles must be fooling around again. Okay. I just remember the dance ballroom scene because the song that plays during that part also played during my class's sixth grade graduation video. <laughs> oh, it's great. Oh, how do I get in there? And not go over here? Honestly, it could be, like, the day. Today's date could be the day that my mom gave me this movie. Like, how many years ago? Like, 29 years ago? Because I was only four. I was almost five, but... Did I go in that vent already? Oh my god. I'm s I really hope I did not. Ooh. Oh. Oh! Okay. I'm making progress. Yo! We did something. Oh god. Now there's a bunch of switches. Um. Okay. It's an out, in, out, so, what, what? What do I do with this chair? Why can I move this chair? I feel like I was like 10 when I last watched Chucky, which... Not my typical kind of movie, but... Why are there boob pillows like this? I found an iron weight. Okay. Picture of a little boy. Why are there so many pictures of Casper just the same picture? Oh, here are the angel wings! It's a window facing the garden. There's a big tree obstructing the view, though. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, guys, I have got to get more Kleenexes. Hold on one second. I'll be right back. I'm just gonna mute my mic. I'll be back.
Okay, sorry. I just had to, uh... Um, sorry. Woo! I had to get Kleenexes. Cause I keep sneezing, cause I'm still getting over this dang cold. Okay, I need to figure out what the switches did. I should have pressed like one at a time. And why can I not press this one? I don't know. I'm not sure, you guys. Okay. There's a plank here. There is a... Is there anything in this room that I can put stuff on? No. Hi, Jilly. Jill G. Jilly's like, what are you doing in here? Did this open up a new path? Oh, come on! This had to have done something. I can't just hit two buttons and it doesn't do anything. Okay, that's the door out. I don't want to go that way. Already went in here. door leads to the garden, but it's locked. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. I really wish it would, like, show where these things were happening. That'd be really nice, but no. Anything over here? Also, why are there so many hidden switches in this house? Was this here before? I have no idea. God, I don't know where any- I- I don't- Oh, that opened the outside. Okay, hold on. I want to go back up here. See if this opened anything. No, that's still boarded. Can I push this button? No. How are you guys liking the maze that is Casper? I just like the puzzly nature of this game. Okay, fine. We're gonna go out here. Hopefully it's nothing crazy. Because I honestly can't remember. Oh. I'm pretty sure. Oh. Oh, here we go. Gotta get a. Red rose. Oh. This will make a great present for Kat. All right, we're giving her a beautiful red rose, baby. We had to literally jump through hoops to get here, but I don't want to get lost in the garden maze right now. I have to What? Do. Like make friends with Cat and Dr. Harvey. Okay, fine. I guess we won't progress. How dare we go that way? I know, Kit. That's what I'm saying. Okay, I found more fool's gold. Okay, that goes away. Oh! Wait a minute. Okay, I found another jigsaw piece. Is there anything else out here? Nothing but shrubbery. Alright, I think that's everything we can find out here. Yay! We can actually make progress now. And then I think I can get the ball power up I keep talking about. Okay.
Okay, um, where is the other picture? Is it in this area or no? No, it's in... At least I think it's in here. I don't know. Oh no, that's a different picture frame entirely. I'm telling you guys, you have to like memorize so much stuff in this game to know where you're going and what you're doing. Okay. Um, how are the cats doing? They're both just cozy right now. Jilly is in Odie's chair and Kit is right next to me in the little makeshift cat tower that I have. My craft tower turned Kit tower. Okay, now how did I get up here? I gotta remember, I gotta retrace my steps. Ba da 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 da. Okay, literally from the first floor. I have a jigsaw piece, I have the gifts. Where is that second picture? This probably doesn't matter right now because I'm gonna have to go back to wherever it is anyway, but oh well, never mind. Might as well do it while I'm here. Okay, that's gonna be a picture of Stretch. It's a frame with the legend Sir Stretch, Knight of the Ghostly Table. Wait, so he was already a ghostly knight before he was even a ghost? How does that make sense? I don't know. P.S. Remember to hydrate everybody because I should probably be drinking more water than I have been. Okay, now I'm ready to go upstairs and give these gifts to Kat and Dr. Harvey, and hopefully that will unlock a new area. Or something. Yo. I don't know how to use this object. What? You don't know how to use a bureau? They look absolutely insane. Aw, he appears with like a rose and a book. Wait, who are you? Insane. Uh, no, I don't remember this happening quite like this in the movie. Wow. Yeah, we already ran into two of them and don't know how to... Later in Casper's play playroom. <laughs> yeah, that is from the movie. This game is so quiet. My dad hid it so no one can find it. But I remember where it is. It's in the secret laboratory. What are these transitions, you guys? Meanwhile, in the secret laboratory. I'm glad that- what is hap- why is this like this? Okay, well, we've entered Act 2, Assemble the Lazarus. Okay, so now... I have an iron key and a camera. It's a camera with a flash. If 
belongs to Dr. Harvey. But I don't think he'll mind if I borrow it for a while. I think this is how I defeat the ghosts for now, maybe. Okay, and then this, this perfume smells great. Wow. It's cat, but I need it. I'm sure she wouldn't mind Okay, it yeah, I think this is how I defeat Stinky and the camera's how I defeat Fatso, maybe in those rooms. Um where we've just kind of had to avoid them. I know you can't do that. Give me the, uh, like anything else. Okay, good. Found a jigsaw piece. Wait, did I? Oh, I did. Okay, good. Um, Casper, that's literally quitter talk. It's so aggressive. Yep, PlayStation 1! We love it! And no, I'm not emulating this either. I quite literally bought this game. Um, so I could play it legitimately. I think somebody asked that like a million years ago, and I'm just now mentioning that, but... But no, this is... For real. Okay, so I have a bucket, smoke, fool's gold, a oh, oh weight, um, jigsaw piece, camera, and perfume. Um, and I don't remember if we get to Stinky this way or not. Oh, no. no, no, no. I don't remember. We at least know how to get to Fatso. This just goes downstairs. Okay. And I'm pretty sure... Yeah, so this is the room that Fatso's in. All I have to do is that. Maybe. No? No! It doesn't work! Okay, well, it didn't work, you guys. I tried. I was hopeful. <laughs> it just didn't work out the way I was thinking. Can you help me up? Please, Dad. <laughs> you can get up yourself. Hang on. Go. Yo, thanks, Slimbo. Um, thank you so much for the bits. For my failed attempt at defeating Fatso with the camera. Apparently, that's not. Oh wait, I can... Can I throw burgers at him? I found a hamburger. Okay, I'm gonna try this instead. This is really stupid. Like, there was already food in here. No, 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 no. Oh, yay! We did it! I found one of the missing Lazarus parts. All right. It's a bottle top, I guess. Is he still in here? Or is this music just still playing because? Huh. Alright, now we gotta go defeat Stinky. Now, I'm for sure he's gotta be against the perfume. Because <laughs> I don't really see what other way... Like, what other thing I would need to do. And I know that we have to battle, like, some ghosts more than once. How do we get there, though? Um, what? No. I made a mental note of where this was and I still don't remember. 
It's over here. I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna just find our way around, you guys. Mm. Oh shoot, okay. We got him! Yay! I found one of the missing Lazarus parts. Okay, well that was easier than I thought. A boosh. Okay, found a bag full of fool's gold. Anything else in here? No. Nothing else in here. I should probably save too. Excuse me. Now let's save. Because we haven't done that yet. And then we'll continue. Alright, cool. Um, I have several keys. Well, oh, how do I... Okay, I need two blue keys for these. I have, like, regular iron keys. I guess I just need to go someplace else for these. I heard Lapras instead of Lazarus. To be fair, though, I feel like we talk about Lapras here probably a lot more than we say the words Lazarus. Do -do 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 Oh my god, you guys. This cold. I'm so ready to be over it. There's gotta be the ball power up. I just wanna get that stupid ball power up. Okay, there's that. Lapras is also more beautiful than Lazarus. True. Wait, what? Why did that just make a weird noise? Like I did something. I don't know. I have no idea. Okay. So that's not right. I'm sure this just goes to an empty... Yeah, I already hit that. Oh, we just have to kind of run around until we figure out where to go. Yo, did anyone watch Mean Girls yesterday? I meant to, but I was salty all day because... Um, I tried to get one of the Mean Girls, like, Bratz dolls that released yesterday. They released Katie, and... Because they had, like, ten of them, it sold out in the first 30 seconds. Had it in my car, didn't get it. I'm so pissed. Still. I just hate these stupid limited re releases that are like, can we just, like, play to support? Supply and demand instead of making limited releases that then give scalpers all the money. Like, come on. Because it was the classic case of, like, suddenly people had it on eBay for quadruple the price already. And it's like, come on. Why? So, yeah, I was salty. One of my favorite YouTubers, though, um, made a video about Mean Girls the Musical. And, like... Um, she does, like, video essays, but this was more of a reaction after not having seen it in, you know, nine months. Um, and her take was pretty similar to my own, minus a couple things, but, yeah. But anyway, I feel like a couple years ago we watched Mean Girls together on Mean Girls Day. 
I'm so sorry, guys. My nose is just like a faucet that I cannot turn off. <sighs> it's very annoying. I hate when it's like this, too, because then you know it's going to be like raw skin. You have a pretty fun stream schedule for this month? Thanks, Cass. I went ahead and just posted the whole thing because... Typically, I come up with my schedule in advance, but I usually tweak it, like, week before. Just some things get shifted around or changed. But because there are so many, like, particular things happening this month that I want to stick to, um, with Mario Party Jamboree releasing and, like, the lead-up to that, my birthday, Halloween, I was like, you know what? I might as well just post this because I don't foresee changing this at all. Um... So, <sighs> purple keys, where did I say this went? Does this just go back downstairs? It's been a while since I watched Mean Girls, I can't even think of when that would have been. I feel like it's one of those movies I watch very frequently, so the last time I would have watched it probably would have been in the summer at some point. Uh, probably a couple months ago now, but not that long. I mean, it's like one of my all-time favorite movies, like, probably in the top ten. For real. It's a hard list to make. It's a hard thing to narrow down and be like, these are my top ten favorite movies of all time. But I would, I would probably, I would say with confidence that it almost guaranteed is one of them. Last time would be the musical one on the plane. I know a couple theaters were playing it for like the 20th anniversary um, on Mean Girls Day, but I didn't see that advertised anywhere around me. So I'm like, maybe that was just very select theaters. Um, elsewhere, because I did not see that even advertised. And I usually keep an eye on the movies, you know? see any doors that I can open like there are no doors yeah well I need this to not be blocked by two planks um I was just trying to come up with my top 10 movies yesterday and was struggling hard what did you come up with so far I'm curious like, I know, like, my top two prop- but, like, I know my top two- like, I know Nightmare Before Christmas is, like, forever number one. Um, and Home Alone is probably my second favorite, so, like, those two. But then, like, oh god, there are so many movies that I love. I think it would just come down to, like, which ones can I just watch on repeat most? Um, oh my god. Casper! I think it's, like, easier to come up with, like, your favorite, your top three movies, like, per genre or something, and you, then you can split it up however you want. Um... Because, like, sometimes it's really hard to compare, like, a comedy to, like, a dark drama or, like, a, a suspense film to a musical. Like, these are just things that don't... Oh. A loose twig. Okay, apparently I'm supposed to go this way now. What? I have no idea what I'm doing. Even coming up with my list of, like, my top five favorite comedies feels impossible, because I love- that's my favorite genre, so, like, I love so many of those movies, and comedy and anim animated film are probably my two favorite genres. Um, okay, there was nothing over there. <sighs> Casper looks possessed and he's a ghost. I, at least it's fitting, right? 
I basically was like, okay, Hot Rod is number one, I think, and then probably the producers, and the mask is somewhere in there, and even now, I'm like, I don't know, something feels off. See? That's what I'm talking about. Hot Rod's definitely in my top ten as well. Um, it'd probably be, like, that's the thing. I'm like, would I put it in my top five? Maybe. I also, like, I love Hot Rod. It's so stupid. And it's so good. It's definitely- I feel like it's, it's in my top five. I know the number one and two spot, like, half- like, those are just, like, no-brainers, like, okay, like, there's no movie I, like, enjoy, watch, obsessively more than those. But I'm like, would it be number three? Mean Girls might be in the top five as well, honestly. I might put- I probably would put Hot Rod and Mean Girls, like, in the top- I probably would put this in the top five, okay. Um... And I know you love Beetlejuice. It's just so hard. It's hard to decide, like... And then, like, I love so many Disney movies. I love Studio Ghibli. Oh my god. I don't know. Like, this is such a freaking hard thing to pick. How do I get to this little house? Also, where was this hedge maze in the movie? Don't remember this! Okay. Have you seen the second Beetlejuice yet? Um, what was that? Is this the other piece? I think that's Stinky's picture. Um, I do the hedge maze scene! Oh, totally! Okay. Um, I do have a little easier because for the most part, I don't feel strongly about any animated movies. I don't think so. That cuts out a bunch of stuff. Oh, for sure. I think the less genres you're into, the easier it is. And for me, like, I just, I love movies so much and I'm very, like, very much a movie person over, like, TV or pretty much anything else. Like, I get into movies more, so... Casper the Friendly Ghost. Oh, why do I feel like I've been this way before? Okay, there's a way to get to that house. What am I doing? I did, I saw opening weekend, it was very fun, but also very, very dumb. Yo, I still need to see it, and I think I might go see a movie on, like, my birthday or something. So at this point, I think I'm just gonna save it for that, because it's not like it's gonna go out of theaters this month, and it'll be less busy then, too. I also don't know that there's anything else I really want to see in theaters at the moment, other than that. Um... Obviously can't beat the first one, but the main cast all being back plus Jenna Ortega is a really good lineup. Yes. Oh, that was a weird skip. I didn't do that. Um, I've never watched the series Wednesday. It's probably something I would like, but again, it takes a lot for me to get into TV shows. Plus, I don't even have any streaming services. I just mooch off of other people. And you can only do that with certain ones, so... Where am I going? Oh, come on, I thought that was the way. What? I have no idea where I'm going. Oh. oh. It's a fake tombstone. My spooky uncles must be trying to scare me. That's the scariest looking tree I've ever seen! Okay... Um, more 
fake tombstones. Why are there fake tombstones out here, though? Dang, spooky uncles, I know! So yeah, I don't even know I've, where I would put... How I would order my... Why so great, Casper? Favorite don't movies. You want to rest in peace. Wait, I, do I have what I need for this? Do I need the camera? Oh. There's literally a grave. Take a picture of him, you idiot! Sorry, flashing lights, you guys. I have no idea. Can I use this bucket here? Um. Oh my god, you guys. If I have to blow my nose one more time, and I will. How do I go? I can't do that. Why? <sighs> okay, I don't know. I have no idea. Yeah, this camera takes an impressive amount of photos. There must be something else I'm supposed to do over there, because I don't... see how any of this stuff could help me. I don't know. I can go back with the bucket and see. It let me go there. Well, I guess it let me go to the other boss battles, too. <sighs> Buckets of no use here. Alright, I have no idea. I have to go get Kleenexes again, though, so I'll be right back. Yo! Okay, sorry guys. I just have to keep blowing my nose. Hopefully by the next time I stream, that won't be a thing anymore and I'll be completely over this cold. Uh, because... I'm not supposed to stream again until Wednesday, so that gives me quite a few days to catch up and just, like, rest. It's been really frustrating, though, because, like, coming home from vacation... I'm always really, like, motivated to, like, get stuff done and start new projects and, like, I'm refreshed, right, from being on vacation and when you are sick, you don't want to do anything slash you can't do anything because you feel like crap and all, all I've been doing is, like, sleeping. Like, the fatigue has been the worst part of this, um, which honestly, like, there are worse things that could have been, like, a product of this like I have a little bit of a cough but not much so I can't complain about that um, can I not do this okay but anyway like it's just annoying because I haven't been able to really like focus on what I want to focus on being home since my trip So it's frustrating for sure. Okay, I don't even know where... <sighs> Smoke through the hedges. I really thought that the ball power-up was like way earlier into this game and I have not even seen it. 
I haven't- I know, Bree, I'm the same way. I haven't been sick since, like, January. So, now that I... Care for a haircut, Casper? Mm, I'll give you a real trim. Well, I don't know. Do I still have the perfume? No? Oh, God. Yeah, I don't know how I'm supposed to battle these guys. Huh. No, I must not be ready for these guys yet. Um. But yeah, I have not been sick since, like, January. And... I was sick like four or five times in a row at the end of the year last year leading into January, so. Or last fall, I should say. Psycho, thank you for the kitty pets. Thank you for the, the bits. Didn't even get sick after Anime Crossroads, and that was a relief with... It was brutal after AGDQ. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, I, um, I didn't get sick after A-Cross either, and I was so happy. I was very happy about that. Um... Yo, get some rest, Scott, man. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good night. Catch up on some sleep. Smoke into these things. There's gotta be, like, a different way to go. Look, I have all these keys. I have two gold keys, five silver keys. Like, I'm just gonna go back into the house and hope I find something. Um, because we're in Act 2, like, there's got to be something. Anyway, I was so worried I was going to give you that cold or whatever I had at Christmas because it seemed like you were catching everything. Oh, I was, yeah, like, from October to December, it was like, I was sick, like, four times. And, like, I think once in January, too, if I remember correctly. Or maybe not. Maybe I hadn't been sick since then. But I was sick so many times in a row, I, like, lost track. Um, maybe I did have a cold in January as well, but it wasn't as bad. But regardless, I've gone most of the year without being sick, so... It only makes sense. Flu season is upon us. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's not the right, um, like, the piece of the jigsaw puzzle I have goes right there. I just don't know where I'm going, and before I stream this again, I probably will pull up that guide because see what I mean this game is a maze in itself and I keep going to the same freaking areas with no luck and then when I unlock a new area I don't know where I am I'm sick and cool yo I would love to take a bath in this game but I can't figure out how to get to the bathroom I'm just so snotty. Snotty Casper! What are you supposed to do? That's a great question right now. I am trying to... Figure that out. Um, I know there's another power-up. It's gotta be in one of the chests. I just don't know how to get to it. And I have all these keys. Oh wait, here we go. What? I hit this yet? No? See? Like, I don't know what that did, though. I have no clue what that's doing. Don't know how to get over there. Hang on! Yo, Sora Prince giving it a ba. I can't do that. I, 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 I can't do that. See, that did something, but what? What? 
did that do? Oh! Just examine it. It's a painting of a man and a woman with pitchforks. Let's do it. Okay. What? Yeah, this is really so. Like, you see what I'm saying, you guys? I don't remember which way the switches went. Um, I'm trying to hang on. <coughs> Woo! Excuse me. This is a lot of switches to remember. Now where does this go? This goes to the library area I was just in. Did those switches do anything in this area? Probably not, so that's the problem. Yeah, like, I don't know. That's still blocked. <coughs> Excuse me. It's just gonna keep happening, you guys. I hate being sick. Um. Nope. Already went up there. Can't go in the bathroom. Can't go in here. <coughs> Can't stop sneezing. Oh my god. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is so hard. My brain is already foggy enough. Ah. Oh. Okay. I hit a bunch of switches. I came in this room. It was no good. None of it mattered. I'm leaving. I'm going back. I can't. <laughs> I can't stop sneezing. Excuse me. <laughs> Anyone watching this after the fact is gonna be like, what in the world? Oh my god, I can't- <laughs> I just need to take my nose off and itch the back of my face in order to do this! <laughs> I feel bad laughing. Oh my god. If I could laugh without sneezing so much, I would breathe. Hey, I'm glad this is at least entertaining for you guys and not just painful. This is so dumb right now. <laughs> I'm falling apart! Uh, okay, I hit all these switches. Did anything happen as a result? I need like a full view of this map. That's already been done. Yeah. Why can't I have more hints? <laughs> I can't! Oh my god! I have to like sanitize everything over here after this. <laughs> I zoned out for a while, so it's not even like I paid enough attention to help out. I just, uh, get to watch you struggle. It's so true. Like, how come some of these switches are like, yeah, that's a switch, and other ones move, and I can't tell what they're doing? I'm just going back up here. I need purple keys. For the purple doors. That much we know. This is blocked. You can't do anything to switch those guys. 
These, that's Casper's room. I doubt there's, I mean, I'll check and see if there's anything new in there. Uh, plus now I'm thinking about what I've left off my top movie list. No, like should Bring It On be in my top 10 or is it maybe top 20? It's a struggle. I didn't realize you liked Bring It On that much. That was like not one that we watched together though. How dare you like movies that we didn't watch together? Um, yeah, I know Casper's making it worse. It's like every time he smokes, I sneeze. Wait, what? What is this room? Oh my god, I don't even know how I got this. <laughs> I would gladly watch it with you though. I know you would. Okay, no, I do remember this now. Can I smoke? So this is gonna be- this is gonna sound insane out of context. Uh, can I smoke? It's a pair of bicycle wheels. There seems to be a lot of- what? A lot of these around. Just feel leather chair now. Well ready for the scrap heap. Casper, why you gotta dunk on what's in your attic so much? Uh, I don't even know why we've never really watched it together. I think it just- too stuck on our own classics. Yeah, probably. That sounds about right. Okay, I came in this vent. So I need to go through this vent. Which leads back here. Okay, that doesn't do anything. Oh my god, you guys. This is why I needed a guide! I'm gonna go into this other part of the house. And if I don't find anything. Did I go back here? Yeah, if I don't find anything, I am probably just gonna save this for next time after I look at the guide. Yeah, like, what do I do with half this stuff? This is where I already was. Maybe I just need to... Could these switches open this door somehow? Oh my god, stupid! Where the green doors are? Oh. <laughs> yeah, like, why watch something else when we could watch Hot Rod and without commentary back- with and without commentary back to back. Exactly. That's just the way it's done. So I got a green key for the green door that I don't even know where it is. Why can I hold this? Oh, hold the chair! Duh. Blah. Stupid. Oh my god. Does anyone know where the green door is? Um, I think it's a different green door. Brandon, welcome to the stream! We had this green door dilemma an hour ago. I know, and now there's another green door somewhere! Like, I don't know enough green doors. Okay, this was all from... Why can't... <sighs> okay, um... Yeah, this was all from the same area. Did I go all the way over here, though? Like, where does this go? Okay, this goes to this library. Is there a green door over here? Does anyone see a green door? Okay. How do 
I open this door? Nope. Not like that. Um... Green? Nope. Oops. No! Plank door! Yeah, I don't know. I also don't know why I can move this. Why can't I smoke through those things? Shouldn't that be a thing? I think this area is a dead end right now. I gotta go back to the, like, main floor. Okay, there's nothing in this little area either. No. Okay, we have explored everything in this little realm over here. So now I gotta go to the other side and figure out where we're going. This game is a maze. Okay, now we're going to the other side. See if we can find any green. This oh. Yeah, this isn't the right um, place for that. Wait, what? Oh my god, no! Freaking red doors? <laughs> okay. So, red door is from the left side of the entrance. Guys, I'm playing more of this next week, just so you know. Um, so if you're like, how are we going to remember any of this? Well, that's because it's next week. Uh, next Friday. Lou? Well, how come I... Come on, I have all the wrong color keys! Oh my god. Stinky was in here, but now Stinky's in uniform out in the backyard for some reason. Um, okay, I can go in this thing. Yeah, it is, isn't it, Casper? You big doofus. Um, I also don't see anywhere that the weight can go. Not that I've really been paying that much of attention. Nothing is in this kitchen. Oh shoot, there's this stupid doorway too. Okay, that doesn't go anywhere. There's a vent right there, but where does this go? Nowhere. Didn't I see a, a floor spot that could have been something, though? I don't know. Uh, this is insane. Okay, back to the kitchen. Or this stupid room that Fatso was in. Maybe these go someplace now. 
Yeah, like, like these spots on the floor. Can I not? No. I mean, I can, but it doesn't do anything. Uh, Casper is so friendly he won't face through the door. Yeah, he will not face through the door. How do I get to the sandwich room? Da 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 da! Casper is really weird and dumb. Okay, um, is there anything in like the main room that I would have missed? So stupid. I probably have to get. Here's what I'm thinking. Whenever I get to the bathroom, I can probably get the bucket out, get a bucket of water, put out the fire, and then go through it. What is the point of completing these? Yeah, I don't know exactly what to do next. Um, because now we have the whole garden area. I feel like I ran around for like 20 minutes and didn't do anything. Other than see two boss battles that we don't have the right stuff to defeat at the moment. I think we need to get into some of these other areas. And I also have no idea how I missed this ball power up because it's got to be somewhere in here. So I think I'm going to save that for next time. I'm very snotty because of this cold, so I think I should probably just wrap up here while I need to look at a, a guide to like help me. Because I remember having to do this back in the day. And it's like, once you get the ball rolling, it's very satisfying, but oh my god, it's so confusing to figure out. Um, but yeah, exactly. Back in my day, video games didn't hold our hands and we got it just fine. That's basically what this game is. Like, run around and figure out what the heck you're supposed to do. I know, there's so much going on in this map. Like, even looking at the map, I don't think it's, like, super helpful because not all the doors are open and everything. So I'm gonna get out my trusty guide. We're gonna figure out where we are. I'm gonna literally highlight where I am and be like, yes, this is what we're doing. Uh, for next time because this is not a super long game once you do get the ball rolling But guys, I really do love this game because of the problem-solving element and that I can't do that I, I, I can't do that. I just love the stupid dialogue It's a game of its time for sure Yo, it very much is a game of the era, which I think is why I like it so much um but yeah, that's gonna do it for tonight's stream! I'm gonna be streaming this uh, next week as well. I posted my entire uh, schedule on, um, on my Discord. So next week, we're gonna continue Casper on Friday, so a week from today. Um, it should be a fun time, and now that I've gotten the hang of things again after like 15 years of not playing this game, picking it back up again, um, we're gonna hopefully make a lot of progress next time. It, so, and it should be a lot of fun. Now you guys know what to expect. Um, also, I have a couple thank yous to hand out before we get going here. So first off, Patreon family! This, These are my patrons from last month, the month of September. This renews today, so this might change. Um, or you have at least two day, if you're watching this in real time, uh, to pledge to my Patreon if you're interested in being part of the credits page here. But I want to give a special thank you to my patrons for supporting me in the extra ways in which they do. So thank you very, very much for that. Thank you to everybody who um, donated to my game fund way earlier in the year where... Um, I raised uh, the funds. Yo, party! Party for the donation goals being met. Um, earlier in the year. <laughs> yeah, return of the standard alerts for sure. Thank you, Psycho, for the bits. Uh, but yeah, there was a donation goal for Endless Ocean, uh, Casper, and Mario Party Jamboree. It was all kind of like one goal uh, that came together from... I was originally gonna get like a, a new computer chair, ended up repurposing like the one that I have here. 
um, to make it work because I couldn't find what I was looking for and then I had extra funds to use towards those games. So I want to thank everybody who donated to make this playthrough possible as well as the upcoming Jamboree playthrough and um, the previous Endless Ocean uh, streams that happened over the summer. But this was such a chill stream, definitely needed it after the past week. Yo, 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 I appreciate you saying that. This was what I needed after the last week of being sick and feeling like garbage too. It's fun to look at retro stuff like this sometimes. There's something very, like, pleasing about this kind of game. I don't know if it's nostalgia or just, like, the way games were made back in the day that they don't- they make them a lot different now. I don't know, there, there's some simplicity but, like, chaos to it. Um, did we want to raid K-Man's channel? Yes. Um... I don't- well, actually, which one's the better one to raid, Slim? Because I know he's in the middle of a tournament right now and I do want to raid him, but... Um, I- you tell me because I'm not really sure how that works. Also, let me shout out everybody who, um, went a little extra tonight. We had DoryGuy64, Narusonic51, Scottman895, Pixelplume, and DJ Brokey 106 with the resubs. Thank you very, very much to all of you. Boz to all of you for subscribing and continuing to subscribe. Um, also, big shout outs to Psycho Nacho Man and Slim Kirby for the bits cheered tonight. I always appreciate that extra support. Um, actual race is being broadcasted on DK64 speedruns, so there's a little more going on there. I, like, is that the one you would recommend rating? Um, let me get my raid messages ready, at least. So we have, um, because I don't know if he's actually, like, doing commentary on his channel. What was I going to say? Um, I can't do that. Do that. What was the other one? Uh, when it's loading. Uh, what does it say when it's loading? Crap, I could just go to another screen and see because I can't remember already because my brain is in a fog ever since being sick. Uh, hold on. Uh, hang on! That's it! Okay. Hang on! Oh my god. If I could type, that would be really lovely. Okay, those are gonna be our- <laughs> Get out of this room. Those are gonna be our raid messages. Uni Psycho! You're just in time for the end. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Uh, will he hear it if I raid the other channel? I'm seriously about to sneeze again. Oh my god. I should probably just get this something loaded up regardless. Um, he won't hear it technically. Um, until he watches it back. You know what? I'm just gonna- maybe I'll just raid his channel then, because that way you guys can give him a follow directly and call it a day, even though he's like on delay. Um, hold on, how do I get this out of here? Okay, wait, but it is... Um... Oh, wait a second. Okay, so he's on emo only, so no, I think we should do the DK. We're gonna raid- we will raid the other one. Okay, sorry. Fine, I will do this. I'm just trying to get the right thing loaded. I'm just gonna give him a shout out and then you can, you guys can follow him that way. Follow his channel directly. Um, but then we're gonna raid the channel that he's legitimately like racing on right now. Um, so anyway, before we do that, I just want to give a quick thank you again to everybody who stopped by and dealt with my snottiness and my my stopped up nose sounding voice um, and me being sick and sneezing uh, into the mic all night. I really appreciate you guys being here and showing your support. 
Um, I have just shared in my chat my link tree that has all my socials on it, YouTube, Discord, Instagram, Twitter. Also um, updated my Etsy store so it has everything in stock again. It was in vacation mode where I only had crochet patterns available, but now everything is available again. So if there's anything you want to purchase from my store, merch-wise, that's the way to go. Oh my god, stop saying yo! Jesus. Um, but yeah, that's the best way to support me is by following any of those social links. Um, and we're gonna raid the DK64 speedruns channel. So let's go ahead and get that started. Raid DK64 speedruns. Okay, great. Um, these are our hot raid messages. Um, but yeah, I... Oh yeah, we should also probably cheer on K-Man. That's a good idea. Go K-Man. I like that. I like not just being totally and completely random. Um, okay, you guys, I will be live again on Wednesday. Hopefully I'll be completely over this cold by then. I love you all so much and I've missed you. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. Have a great rest of your weekend. Stay healthy, get lots of rest, drink lots of water, and I will see you guys when I see you. Bye!